Hello, class. Good evening. Hello, Ray. Hello, Narciso, Marlene, Gabriela, Harrison. Good evening, teacher. How's it going, guys? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, teacher. Is it raining where you guys are? Raining? Narciso, is it raining where you are? Is it like raining? No? Because in my town it's raining. In case it's you... here, no, it's here, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's raining. Okay, okay. So in my town it is the raining. afternoon. Oh, in the afternoon. Okay, okay. I see. Well, in my case here in my town, yes, it's raining. In case you cannot listen to me properly, please let me know. Si no me escucha muy bien, les agradecería que me lo dejen saber. Okay, Harrison, how are you, Harrison? All good, person. Hi, teacher. I'm fine. All good. Okay. All right. Nice. Uh, Rafa is there. JC is connecting. Gabriela, Ruben, just arriving. How was your weekend? Was it nice? Was it... Difficult, <laughs> busy, how was it? Did you have to work on the weekend? You see, how was your weekend? Hello, teacher. I, Hi. I'm good. I relax in the weekend. Nice. <laughs> Great to hear that, okay? Yes, relaxing on, on weekends is the best thing we can do, right? So I'm glad. Well, guys, it's Monday, and we are going to start our second week today and I want to thank you for completing all the activities that we had on the previous week okay so in case you haven't completed all these activities please go ahead and complete everything do not leave anything pending okay asegúrese de ir completando todo on a daily basis day by day okay so you don't have to be worried in, you know, about completing these activities on the very last day, which is Friday. So please try to complete them day by day. That's going to, um, let's say, facilitate, you know, everything. Because if you accumulate things, oh, that's too stressing, okay? So I'm going to start by checking the attendance first, okay? And let's see, first one on the list, Anna Elizabeth. I think Ana Elizabeth is not connected yet. Let's see, we have Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Narciso. Claudia Karina. No. Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you so much. So we have Ana, not yet. Cristina is here. Next one, Daniel. I don't see Daniel connected. That's really strange. Uh, David, he never made it. Next one here is uh, Eric Arnoldo. Present teacher. Hey, you, are, you are there. Oh, good night. Okay, see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow, porque. <laughs> Me está diciendo good night, como que ya se va a dormir usted. Yo... Ah, tiene razón. Ok. Ok. ¿Cómo decimos, Eric? Good evening. Good evening. Ok, good evening. Good evening. Ok. Yo creí que me quería mandar a dormir ya. Yeah, come on, come hey, on. No, it. hey, it's Monday. <laughs> Relax. It's Monday. We just started. Apenas <laughs> comenzamos. Ok. Gabriela. Sí. No, Gabriela. Present, teacher. Oh, Gabi is there. Okay. Gerson. Present, teacher. Thank you, Gerson. Jesus Antonio. Jesus? No? Okay. Uh, Rubén. Present, teacher. Thank you, JC. Present, teacher. Mm -hmm. I think Linda is not yet connected. Maria Julia. Present. Thank you, Maria Julia. 
Marlene. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Marvin Omar. Present, teacher. Thank you, Norma. I think it's not connected. Rafa. Present, teacher. Let me see, Rafa. Where's Rafa? Oh, you're not anymore in your corner, right? Not in oh, your yeah. corner. <laughs> not in your no, corner no. this time. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so let's continue. Ray, Ray is there. I saw Ray. Present teacher. Thank you, Ray. Siomar. Is Siomar? Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Siomar. And Adrian. Georgina. Jairo. And Jose. Never made it. Okay. So. Hey, good evening. How are you, Elizabeth? Nice day. Nice day, okay. Hi. Great to hear that. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. So you had a nice day. Okay, it's Monday, right? Mm -hmm. So first day of the week. And mm -hmm. well, we have to be thankful for being alive, for being able to connect to, to the first class of the week. There are many things that we have to be thankful for, right? If you remember last time we talked about how to use I'm thankful for, and then we say one action, right? So, well, guys, there are many things that we gotta be thankful for, and I'm glad to see you guys at least this time. You know, I can see we are, what, how many? Like 15 connected, well, well this is really good, 15 students connected. And I can see you guys uh, through, you know, this video call conference. So we're gonna start today's class and today's session, guys, we're going to, um, well, we left an, an activity pending on Friday, which we couldn't finish due to um, time. So um, if you remember, we were um, supposed to create some sentences. So let's see, do you remember the sentences that we were going to create that we didn't share? What are those sentences that we left pending on the previous class? What are those sentences? Who remembers? Okay. Uh, well, we said last class that we were going to create sentences using what? These expressions here on the screen. Be in charge of, be committed to, be dedicated to, be responsible for, and be accountable for. This is just a very quick review. So I'm going to need you to please share with me your sentences. We are going to start with Reinaldo. Reinaldo, can you read your sentences? Did you complete this activity, Ray? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please, Ray. Uh, Xiomara is in charge of the administration of the company. Employees are committed to their schedule. He is a dedicated young man is his work. They are responsible for their sales goals. Uh, be responsible, be a country similar. Correct, correct. Yes, be responsible and be accountable for it. Both, like both are similar. We can say they are synonyms, okay? So that is correct. I want to highlight the following thing, Ray. You mentioned um, after off and after two, some nouns, for example, they are in charge of, and then you didn't mention an action. I'm not saying that is incorrect. What I'm saying is that we are looking for actions. If, if you can mention any action after these prepositions, that's gonna be you know, you know, even better because that's what we're looking for. It's not that what you said is incorrect. It's just that we have to look for actions to be said after the preposition. For example, um, I am in charge of leading my team. I'm in charge of checking emails. I'm in charge of um, calling customers. So we need to look for actions, okay? 
So we're going to listen to somebody else to see what, you, what, what else you have written, guys. So maybe, Marvin, Marvin, what did you write on these examples, in these sentences? Can you share it with us, please? Hmm. Repeat, teacher, no. Repeat, yeah. no, no. Yes, Marvin, can you share with us your sentences? Like with this, like Ray, Ray read his sentences. So you do the same, usted haga lo mismo. Okay, so read this, um, I mean, what you wrote, lo que usted escribió, uh, using these structures. Uh, teacher, que no, uh, no estuve en la clase el viernes, por eso, no, no, no hice la tarea. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. Let's see, Narciso, no problem, no problem. Try to complete it, trate de completarla. Narciso, um, what did okay, you write? Okay. Corríjame. Go ahead. Evalúeme. Being shut off my business with client. Okay. Um, be in charge of, uh, let's, let's make sure that we say making, can, making, 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 exactly. This, or doing business with clients, okay? What else, Narciso? Mm, be, be committed to with clients. Okay. Um, be committed with clients, okay? We committed to clients. We committed to clients, okay? Yes, but you can say, I am committed. We are committed to, and then you say clients, okay? What else? Uh, be dedicated to my work. Yes, okay. You uh, can be responsible mm -hmm. for everything good be responsible for everything okay you can say that but if you can mention an action that'll be great so i am responsible for taking care of everything for example de cuidar todo i'm responsible for controlling everything checking everything so the purpose is that we use actions el propósito es usar una acción en ing justamente después de la preposición in, in the last one, uh, Narciso, que escribió en la última. Be accountable uh, for. Be accountable for uh, all day of warranty appraisals. Appraisals, okay. Yes, same thing. Está bien la, la estructura, la oración. El propósito va a ser en este escenario es crear, uh, utilizar INGs, ¿verdad? Los INGs after las prepositions, okay? No he dicho que están malos sus ejemplos. Lo que he dicho es que el propósito de la actividad es usar INGs después de las preposiciones. ¿Ok? Um, so, ¿alguien más que le gustaría compartir? ¿Anybody else who would like to share? Que considere que quiera compartir. That you created on the weekend. O that you did it on the last class. ¿Anybody else? No se quede con sus ejemplos. Posiblemente sean muy buenos y nos enseñen bastante, nos comparta. O posiblemente hay algo que tengamos que corregir y lo podemos hacer. We have two examples. Ok, go ahead, Marlene, please. Uh, I am in charge of char charging clients and I am in committed to giving the best service to my clients. I like it. Yes. Usted es la que, la que les pasa ahí. Paga. Paga ahorita, si no te va a caer el Of course. <laughs> no, of course. Both are okay. Las dos están bien. That, that is the purpose, okay? We use the ING. I'm in charge of charging, okay? And I'm committed to giving the best customer service, okay? Something like that. All right. Anybody else? Alguien más, guys? Bienvenido los que se acaban de unir. Ya veo que tenemos... Anybody else? Hmm, don't be shy, come on. Veo un montón de cámaras apagadas, guys. Okay, I don't know what happened. ¿Qué pasó con el feeling que la energía que agarraron el weekend? Pues? Ah, ya recargar esas baterías. 
a resetear ahí un poquito el botar estrés. Hay que hacer deporte. Do you guys practice sport? Do you go running? I know Rafa does it. Rafa likes running. Yes. Uh, yesterday. Oh. Yesterday. Okay. 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 So you went. I went. I went. I went. You went for, running. Yeah, for seven kilometers. Seven kilometers. Wow, but that's long. Seven is a lot. I think I will be able to run maybe exaggerating a little bit, maybe three, the most in my case. Yeah. I, I practice sport. I play soccer. I try to play soccer as many times as possible because that helps. That helps. Ni la toco, pero ahí anda corriendo, you know? But, you know, that's, that's the idea. The idea is to practice, to practice, okay? Okay, that helps. Eso ayuda. Así que espero, pues, ustedes, este, de repente, ir a run a little bit. O jogging, correr un ratito. That helps, ¿verdad? Uh, okay, good. So, well, guys, thank you. Rafa, would you like to share your sentences? The only one. Okay, I am, I, am, I am responsible for training my team. Nice. I'm responsible for training my team, okay? Rafa is the trainer of the team, okay? But you train how to, how to use guns, right? <laughs> yeah. Rafa is my friend. So be careful. So, um, okay. Let's finish this activity because we're going to move on to unit number two. We had this uh, activity pending on the previous class and this is uh, how to use these two similar words, personal and personal. Personal and personal. Okay, so how do we use it? Personal, personal, we use it for People, right? Stuff, company stuff. But personal, it's belonging to a particular person, like me, myself, you, yourself. That's personal. But personnel stands for a group of people, right? So I don't know if you finish this activity. We have the first one who is responsible for what is it? Let's, let's do it this way. We have number one, this is personal. And then we have number two, this is personal. So what did you write? Send me, chat with me on the, on the you, let's use the number chat. One. Number one. Yep. Are you sure? Uh, Marlene? Yes. Hundred, <laughs> hun okay, it's, yeah. It's uh, the plant. Okay, yes, I, right. I think how the work. Okay, let me go. Number one. Okay, I think it is. I don't. I don't type. How about number two? Does the marketing manager have uh, what? Personal or personal? Personal or personal. What is the answer? Do you guys know it? What is it? What do you have in your books on your notebooks? One or two? It's personal, two. Personal, okay, personal. Good, I agree with you, JC. What about number three? It's necessary to train more? Personal. Personal, personal. okay, okay. Personal. All right, number one. How about, um, please do not bring your? Personal. Personal. Personal, personal problem, okay. This is, this is very, I would say, not accepted. According to my beliefs, I cannot ask my, my um, staff not to bring, you know, personal problems. <laughs> That's impossible, right? Imagine you have problems. Mm -mm. You cannot tell them, okay, don't bring it to work. That's not happening. You have to, on the contrary, you have to support your employees, right? Well, that is a comment. Number five, the what? Number one or two, personal number or personal? One. Number one. one. Okay. 
fine. Okay. I Perfect. need now, personnel. I need now five volunteers to read each of these statements. Okay. We're going to start with maybe not that volunteer. Okay. Let's start, JC. Read number one, please. Okay. Who is the responsible for the personnel at the plant? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Xiomara, okay. Xiomara, you are drawing. Okay, let's keep drawing. Let's let's make a flower right here. Okay. You see, I give you this flower, give it to your to your daughter or son. I don't know. Okay. Oh, tell him there's a bunny right here. Conejito, you know. Okay. Oops. Okay. Um that's not good. So number two, let's see, Marvin. Ah, uh, in esa cosa, JC, responsible, 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 responsible es el, es el objetivo. Responsible. Marvin, help us with number two, please. Okay, does, does the marketing manager have a two assist, assistant? Mm -hmm. Let's use the word. Does the marketing manager have a what? Have a personnel or personal? Personnel uh, or personnel? Uh, personal. Personal, personal assistant. Personal. Okay, personal. Good. Number three, Miss Joy, go ahead, please. Hello? Usted es la, la joy del team. So help us, please. Number three. Hello. Se quedó calladita. Miss Alegría, can you help us? Okay, Ruben, number three, please. Okay, uh, it is necessary to train more personnel for the high season. Nice, good pronunciation, Ruben. Xiomara, help us with number four, please. Please, please don't, don't note Bring, bring your personal problems to the office. Awesome, thank you. And the last one, please, Christina, Stephanie. The, 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 the personnel of the workshop need, need new uniform. Okay, thank you, uniform. Uniform. Esa palabra clase esta U lleva un sonido de ju, como de juice con un jugo. No es EU, no es EU, sino que es juice. Juice es el mismo, uniform, es el mismo sonido. Uniform, uniform, ok. Ese es un paréntesis, uniform. Ok, hoy oh, sí, estamos listos. Vamos a iniciar con. La unidad, la unidad, number, units, number, two. Antes de iniciar con esta unidad, yo sé que ustedes fue el fin de semana estaban repasando, así anticipándose, ¿verdad? Y todo, la unidad está bien bonita, la verdad que el tema es interesante. A ver, cuéntenme que, y pensemos en un entorno social, ¿ok? Like, um, ¿Cómo ustedes hacen amigos? ¿Cómo ustedes quiebran el hielo? How do you break the ice in a social gathering, en un ambiente social? How do you do that? Imaginémonos de que aquí todos, nos, todos somos nuevos y nadie le habla a nadie y todos estamos esperando que venga ahorita a darnos la clase a alguien o una, un seminario. ¿Así? ¿Qué harían ustedes ahorita en ese ambiente virtual? ¿O qué hacen ustedes? ¿O solo nos estaríamos viendo las caras aquí? Sí, Marlene, what do you do? 
en, es, en inglés es in a social gathering, así, mire, en un ambiente, in a social, in a social gathering. Marlene, how, what do you do to break the ice? <laughs> I don't know, nothing. <laughs> nothing, okay. Se sonríe. Hmm. You smile. What do you do, Cristina? What do you do? Um, question the no number. Question. No, preguntar el nombre. Ah, ask for, okay. Ask, you know, somebody ask, else's name. Ask okay, ask. An okay. Person. okay. Okay, I like it. Okay. What do you ask when you first meet someone, guys? Rafa, what do you ask? How do you say saludar? Greet. Usted saluda. In English, it's greet. Greet, like. Greet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Greet, uh, greet everybody. Everyone. Greet. Okay. You greet. Okay. JC. Greet you greet everyone. Okay, good. JC, what do you do? I, I think that presentation. Okay, se presenta. Okay. Yes. In English, in, in English, in English, we say introducing. We introduce ourselves. Okay. Okay. But let's try to respond to these questions. Tenemos un par de preguntas aquí. Bueno, la unidad, guys, se llama socializing. Okay. It means interacting in social gatherings, right? Mm -hmm. Socializing, all right? So first one, do you often attend seminars? Man Manuel, Gerson Manuel, do you often attend seminars from your work? Um, yes, more or less. We have a... a and um, three seminars at the at the year. Oh, three seminars. Okay, yearly. Yes. Okay, and is it easy? To, is it easy for you to socialize at those events? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I I I go with the person next to me. Only that. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. 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 Not everybody. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. And when you talk to the person next to you, how do you usually break the ice? What do you say? Yeah, nothing, only, hi, how are you? And mm -hmm. what is your name? Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, the normal. Normal things, ask. like, yes. Like, okay. Nothing out of, you know, the uh, no, really, no. Okay. something like to the point name um how are you okay good let's see daniel you are here daniel uh i want to ask you these questions no, no. daniel do you attend seminar no, teacher. hi how are you daniel um fine fine i'm riley riley teacher and, and have a lot of seminar on the in the work workplace in my uh -huh. workplace mm -hmm. because where are I stay in in that event I talk with the people uh, hello what is your name where you come from uh, um, what is your workplace and a uh, question uh, basic question Basic information or question, right? Okay, okay. that makes sense. Mm. Okay, is it easy for you to socialize uh, at these events, in these events, Daniel? Or do you find it difficult to start socializing with others? Um, it's, it's very, uh, to me, it's difficult because in English and Spanish, <laughs> I know a lot of socialization. Okay, all right. Let's see, Eric. How about you, Eric? Is it the same case? 
Do you attend seminars? Difficult to socialize? Easy? How do you break the ice? Eric? Hello, Eric. Nos dejó colgados ahí. Eric se fue a comprar el pan. Ah, no, si es noche. Ok, Rubén. Mis alegría. Alguien más quiere con... ¿Cómo? Cuéntenos. How do you... How do you... I don't know, break the ice, mm. easy to socialize, difficult. Tell us, please. Do you attend seminars? Um. It doesn't make it difficult for me to chop, chop up. No se me dificulta. So it's not difficult, okay. No. Okay. No. So you consider an easy going person, easy going, like you make friends easily. Yes. Nice to hear that, okay. I'm happy. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that, okay. <laughs> So let's do something. Let's practice this conversation, guys. Please listen to me as it says here, and then we are going to practice. We have here Rick and Jack, but we don't have Rose, right? Only Jack. Okay, so we have Rick. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for uh, Inex Inc. Or I-N-E-X Inc. What does INEX Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama, okay? So I want to know if you have questions about pronunciation or maybe meaning that we can clarify. Carbo, carbo, okay? carbo ball. Cardboard boxes, exactly. Cardboard boxes. Cardboard boxes. Yeah, cardboard um, boxes. boxes. Okay. Yes, cardboard boxes. Mm. Those are boxes packaging. for packaging, right? Para empaquetar, right? Cardboard, cardboard boxes. Cardboard es el material, cardboard boxes. Son las cajas más comunes, comunes y corrientes. Okay, what else? On the right, I think, or maybe on the left in your case, we have two definitions, headquarters, and branch. Marlene, help me to read these definitions, please. Uh, I don't know what is, what is branches. No, uh, on the, we have two definitions right in here. We have headquarters and branch. Oh. On the read, on the read. Read okay. and read. Uh, the place where a company or organization has its main office and branch, a shop or office representing a large company or, or organization in a particular area. Area, yes. So yeah. headquarters, big one, the big one, the main offices, right? And then branch, it can be a shop or a small office, a retail store, which represents the large company, okay? So two different things. Um, so do you have questions, guys? No? Let's practice this conversation as a whole class then. I'm going to need uh, some volunteers to read, okay? Maybe this time I'm gonna choose them because volunteers, I don't, I don't know what happened. Xiomara, Xiomara and Gabriela, okay? You two uh, ladies, go ahead, please. 
Xiomara Rick and Gabriela Jack. Okay. Thank you. Uh, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, and yet I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex in do, Jack? We we manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does in it have many brush branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branch in the country in the country. And where where are the headquarters? There in Panama. Okay, thank you so much. That was really good. Uh, I like the pronunciation. Just some very quick observation. Uh, remember that we, we, when we say branch is only one, solo una. Pero si tenemos varias o muchas, plural, decimos branches, branches, branches. Um, luego la otra es, let's see, manufacture, es el, es el, um, el verbo, manufacture, manufacturar. But manufacturing, ya yeah, hace como sustantivo, manufacturing okay. branches, se manufactura. Okay, uh, headquarters, headquarters, quarters, como la cora, headquarters. Those headquarters son las oficinas centrales. Okay, um, I need two more volunteers to read. Uh, dos más que me ayuden a leer. Dos más. Leamos. Raise your hand, please. Leamos, leamos, please. Thank you, Marlene. And uno, uno más. One more. Hi. Thank you. Go ahead. Go. Okay, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for INEC ENC. What does INEC Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it is that we have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for helping me on this and reading it. Uh, something really quick, this, this verb, manufacture, manufacture, sure, manufacture. Esta, la última sílabas es como sonido de CH, manufacture, manufacture, manufacture. manufacture. Uh -huh. That's manu that's manufacture. Um, y luego, well, the rest is okay. Las letras INEX, INC, podemos decir INEX, INC, o podemos deletrear las letras INEX, INEX, INC. Pero como es una compañía, le llamo los INEX, INEX. Uh, okay. INEX sería letra por letra, right? Okay, um, well, let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going with this, um, because we're going to practice later on in pairs, creating a a conversation as of now let's do something let's uh respond these questions it says what two questions would you and would you ask rick to continue the conversation okay practice the expanded conversation with the partner this is what you have to do now you guys are going to work in pairs you are going to add two questions on your own. Usted va a agregar dos preguntas más. And then you're going to practice with your partner, okay? The expanded conversation. No van a, van a siempre uh, jugar el rol de Ricky Jack, ¿verdad? 
y luego van a practicar la conversación expandida ya con sus dos preguntas, ¿ok? Les voy a dar unos tres o cuatro minutos para que agreguen las dos preguntas, se pongan de acuerdo y la practica, luego nos las comparten, ¿ok? Eso sí. ¿Tienen preguntas antes de hacer las parejas? Here's questions. So think about two questions. Piensen en dos preguntas que agregarían a la conversación, ¿ok? Y luego nos comparten qué agregar, ¿ok? So here we go. Vamos a hacer las grupos. Uno, here's. Let's see. Uno va a quedar de tres. No, uno va a quedar solo. Creo que le va a tocar trabajar conmigo. Aquí vamos. Here we go. Solo tres tengo. Ok. Perdón, de tres quedaron aquí. Ya tengo otro grupo de tres. Ah, Daniel se me vino para acá. Daniel iba siguiendo. No sé qué hice, ah, pero la jalo tras la de en vez de pasarlo para otro. De repente apareció. Ah, Estaba solo yo. Ah, bueno, entonces piensen en dos preguntas. Las agregan y toman turnos, ¿verdad? Para no mover nadie más. Voy a ver los otros okay. grupos. Ok, good. Location in your company. ¿Qué se puede decir? La, loca, la ubicación de la compañía. Yeah, yeah. You can say what is the company's location or, or where is it located or. Sí, esa me parece. La verdad que location es, es más general, pero esa sería la mejor pregunta. Porque también podemos decir what is your company address también como la dirección, pero. Where is your lo, company located? Lo, ajá, también, where is your company located? Exactly. Me llega. Sí, vaya, piensen en dos. Bye. Están tres aquí, así que yo sin gusto. Hagamos un trío. <risa> ok, me voy. <risa> <risa> bueno, eso. Where is your company located? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Sí.
triste que nos dejen a medias. <risa> Qué feo. Ya escucharon, ¿verdad? <risa> y que no habíamos terminado. <risa> Marlene. Que son esas confesiones, Marlene. <risa> okay. no. Qué mente. <risa> ok, all right, ¿verdad? Vamos a dejar a que Marlene con su grupo termine. Este, y van a improvisar quizás. Así que, Marlene, go. Who did you practice? No, no. With? ¿Cómo ¿Sí? Who did you practice with? Person. Ok. Démosle entonces. Improvisenla y terminen la conversación. Y no, mami, ¿qué es? Okay. Desde, el, desde el principio. Oh, no. Sí. I think sí. desde el principio. Sí. Yes, yes, yes. The entire conversation. Ok, yo soy, yo soy Rick. Okay. Hello, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard and boxes for the packing it companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have uh, three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the head, headquarters? They're in Panama. Oh, I would like to visit them. Could you give me the address? address? Sure, it's in Multiplaza Panama. Oh, excellent. And the other products have? No, no others. It's all, only these products. So it's, it's great. Okay, bye. Bye. Claps, yes. Let's clap for them. That was really good. Yeah. Thank you. You see, you have finished. You have terminado, right? Okay. Oh, you were, you know, talking something different. Okay, I see. All right, that was really good. Thanks. Really good, Harrison and Marlene. You know, I like how you finish okay. the conversation. Uh, yeah, I repeat that. How do you pronounce the head? Head, head, head. Quarters? No, head, like the, the, the cabeza, head. Head, head. head. headquarters. Quarters. Headquarters. Okay. Head, head, like E, y luego qua, esa T, como que eso es una R. Headquarters. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Herson and Marlene or Marlene, choose the next participants, please. Okay, Elizabeth Alegría. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, let me see. Rafael, con grande participación. Okay, entonces escuchamos a Elizabeth con quien haya practicado y luego Rafael con quien haya practicado. Ok, go. Hello. Hello, Renato. ¿Qué pasa nosotros entonces mientras sale Reinaldo? Ok. Sí, sí, pero nosotros solo hicimos las preguntas, nosotros no contestamos las preguntas. Solo Eso, puestos, nada más. Hoy, hoy van a improvisar. <risa> Vamos, Rey, ustedes pueden. Vamos, go. Leemos el, 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 el diálogo y, la, y las, preguntas y las improvisamos. Y terminan exacto la conversación con sus preguntas. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for 
next thing? What does e next thing do, do, Jack? We manufacture carbon boxes of packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Ines have many branches? Yes, I does. We have three manufacturing brochures in the country. And where are the health square? There in Panama. In the other, what kind of boxes do you manufacture? What kind of boxes do you manufacture? Yeah. Uh, in the um, Honduras, the Costa Rica. No, what kind? Oh, okay. oh yeah. Um, the. No sé cuándo la contestamos. Different, different size. Different, different size. Which country? We know we we manufacturing. Yes. In the, the other, Panama. In the uh, Costa Rica, Honduras. Okay. Thank you. That's all. And you're welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Good. Thank you. You see, that's what I'm talking about. That was really good. Thank you so much. That was really good, Ray and Elizabeth. Good uh, okay. attending. Solo vamos a corregir esa pronunciación, guys. Miren. Esa es, dijimos que es manufacture, manufacture. Ese, esa terminación, así como la tenemos aquí con ese sonido de así, sure, es sure, es el mismo cuando decimos cultura. Miren, culture, manufacture, culture, manufacture. Es el mismo sonido, manufacture, 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 manufacturar. Además, todo nítido. That was really good. ¿Tenemos algún voluntario? Los últimos que quisieran que les escucharan, que les escuchemos. Ah, decimos que Rafa, dijimos que Rafa era verdad, verdad. Rafa, no tan voluntario, Rafa. Go. Ok. Obligado. Obligado. <risa> obligado, yes, obligado. Obligado. My partner, Christy. Christy. Teacher, a mí después me quitaron con Rafa, me mandaron con los parcisos. Mm, no sé qué pasó. Pero, aquí. pero, pero, este, voy a dar hacer con Rafa. Bueno. Aunque no sé qué preguntas me va a hacer. A Rafa, a Rafa es maldilla, se mire. Digo, <risa> Rafa. Ok. Go. I am Rick. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes. I, I, it does. We have three manufacturing brushes in the country. And where are the headquarters? They in Panama. Do you feel good in Ines, Panama, Jack? What? Do you feel good in Inex company, Jack? Yes. Yes. Where are you located in this company in Panama? In San Benito, Panama. Okay. Thank you very much. Good job. Okay, I'm going to go to the colonia San Benito. Okay. 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 Okay, it exists. Ah, o sea que, okay. If it, if it doesn't exist, I like it. Okay, you know, you play. I like it because you're good in pricing. That's the idea. Nice. Uh, okay, good. Good. Nice. 
I like it. Okay, um, I'm gonna check the attendance right now because I need to update updated it. Okay. Let's see. Today is Monday, July 12th. Here we go. Ana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia Karina. No? Okay. Cristina. Present. Thank you. Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. David. No. Eric. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric. Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you. Herson. Present teacher. Thank you. Jesus. Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you. JC. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlene. Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafa. Present teacher. Thank you, Ray. Present teacher. Thank you, Ray. Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, Adrian, Georgina, Jairo, and Jose Alberto. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, confirming. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to send you guys with the same group so you can complete the next activity. Okay. Uh, what's the next activity? Well, this is the next activity. You guys are going to think about what? Look at this chart. You're going to make a list of three companies. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. In your country, which means in El Salvador, right? Think about its branches, okay? Like those little stores, like stores or, or agencies. And then if you can say where the headquarters are, great, okay? Maybe you will need to investigate, okay? Which is cool because we have access to the, to the net. So I'm going to send you to work with the same group. Con el mismo grupo que hicieron la conversación, van a hacer esa actividad, okay? In pairs or in groups of three. I'm going to give you like uh, maybe five minutes for you to complete this. And then we are going to um, share it. Okay, here we go. Again, hoy si le voy a dar tiempo para que termine, okay? Here we go. Okay, um, señoritas y caballeros, los voy a asignar a ustedes a un grupo. Linda, lo voy a, lo voy a llamar, se va a ir con, permítame, quiero ver, y Rafa lo han dejado solito. Vamos a mandarlo con Rafa. Rafa, Rafa, ¿dónde está Rafa número cuatro? Y ahí van a ir las dos para que trabajen. Okay, here we go.
Okay. ¿Y qué otra compañía entonces sería? Digamos, Guatemala, Costa Rica, la sede de Salvador. Tisher. Yes. Okay. Solo los nombres de las eh, compañías y sucursales. Ajá, okay. uh -huh. y los headquarters. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. Brochers, headquarters. Okay. Eh, otra compañía. Hi teacher, good evening. Hey, <laughs> everything. I said somebody is there. I said. <laughs> so how's yes, that? I'm here. <laughs> so how's everything? Everything is okay. Eh, voy a estar observando un ratito la sesión. Eh, me he dado cuenta que están trabajando en pequeña sala, verdad? Yeah, yeah. Sí, estamos ahorita están trabajando, están creando, este, completándome un cuadrito. Ya van a rezar los chicos. We're doing this activity. They're working in this, like doing their companies, branches, and headquarters. Están haciendo. Okay. Ya lo, ya lo pueden. Ajá. Ya van a regresar sí. y van a. Ajá. Eso iba a preguntarle cuánto le faltaba para finalizar la actividad. Sí, estaba. Eh, les doy siempre de tres o cuatro, dependiendo, ¿verdad? Acabo de revisar y todavía le falta alguna. Entonces, y a veces se ponen como que, we need more time, ¿verdad? Entonces, entonces ya, ajá, es que ya, ya lo voy a marcar un minuto más, creo. Ya voy a regresar, solo quiero ver cómo va. Ajá, perfecto. Aquí voy a estar esperando y eh, ellos tienen habilitada la cámara. Uh -huh, la mayoría. Ah, <ríe> vaya, sí, porque no. voy a hacer una captura de pantalla cuando estén ya todos en la sala principal y, y no es necesario que deje de compartir su pantalla. Yo acá voy a estar observando okay. un ratito. Perfecto. Gracias, Perfecto. gracias. Perfecto. Are, are we ready? Listos. Yeah. Ready, 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 ready. Ya rato, ¿verdad? Ya rato. Ready for two. Okay, nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, so we return then, regresamos. Okay. Y la última. Agreguen una, 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 este. Pizza Hut, no, para tener iguales. Y la oficina. Una consulta, teacher. Eh, ¿Están todos en la sesión o tiene ausencias? Tengo ausencias. Hay varios ausentes. A, ahorita hay como, hay 15. Ya voy a ver si, si 15 estaban cuando pasé asistencia hace un rato. Ok, gracias. Welcome back, guys. Ready? Was it enough time, Marlene? Yes? Did you finish? Ok. Gerson? Fine. Okay, JC, did you finish? Yes? Okay, yes. so, great. Ray, Linda, Rafa, did you finish the activity? Daniel, yes. nice, awesome. So we are going to, um, but I don't see Gabriela. Gabriela, I don't see you, Gabriela. Cristina, what happened? I don't see you. Is your camera oh, okay? There, hi, Cristina. Uh -huh. Now I can see. Gabriela, is your teacher for rato? Oh, is it raining, Cristina? Where you are? Is it raining? Because yes, in, uh, in my town, it's raining. You know, a lot of. You know, it's it's kind of hard in here. Like, well, and Gabriela, how about you, Gabriela? Is your camera working, Gabby? No, well, it's okay. So uh, we're going to start, okay, with uh, this activity. And I know that you want to participate. I know that. So who wants to volunteer, okay? Who wants to volunteer with this activity? All I want you guys to do is the following. Tell me the company name, 
the branches and the headquarters. That's it. So since you work in groups of three or maybe two, just go ahead and choose one who is going to share this activity information. So who is it? So who wants to start? Maybe Linda, Linda's team. Would you like to start sharing? Linda, your mic, I think is off. Yes. Mm. Uh, first, uh, the company is GNC branch is branches are in Merliot, Metro Centro, for example, and headquarters is in United States. Nice. I didn't know about that company. So that's number one. What about yes. the other ones? And second, uh, I have San Farmacia San Nicolas. Uh, for example, the, the branches are in Escalón, Metro Sur, everywhere. <laughs> and lo, the headquarters is in Laboratorio Suizos, San Salvador. Oh, you see, I had no idea about that. So Laboratorio yeah. Suizos is the headquarter for this. It's like the owner, something like that. Uh, okay. All right. Makes sense, right? Okay. Yes. And the last and one? The last one I have Pizza Hut. Uh, uh, the branches are yes, Mexicanos, the Merliot, Plaza Merliot, everywhere. And the headquarters are in Chilpipan, in Ciudad Merliot. Yeah, you see, you're teaching me now these things. I didn't know the headquarters are in Chilpipan. Yes. Yeah, I didn't yes. know. I didn't know anything about this, but thank you so much. Do you like uh, going to this restaurant, pizza? Yes, I like. A lot? <laughs> Any favorite like dish? Like uh, pasta. I love Alfredo's pasta, you know. This one is just delicious. Delicious. Yeah. yeah, 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 I like it. So thank you so much for sharing. So Linda, you can choose the next person, please. We have, uh, you know. Yes, uh, the, the Elizabeth team, team, Elizabeth oh, team. Sounds perfect. Elizabeth, your turn. Um, the companies Walmart are in brochure are in El Salvador, Mexico, and Panama. Hairwars, eh, Estados Unidos. Um, over IBM. Brochure are in El Salvador, Guatemala, and Costa Rica. Hairwars. In USA, uh, the um, the company is the uh, Almacenes Simal. Brochure are in Guatemala, Costa Rica, Hercules, El Salvador. Only. Okay, thank you so much. So we okay. say branches. Branch, only one, and then branches. 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 Right. Branches is me. It means that there are more than one, right? Branches. And then headquarters. Headquarters, las oficinas centrales. Headquarters. Head, like our headquarters. Headquarters. And then uh, the first time you said Estados Unidos, but then you say USA, which is okay. You can say USA or United States, which is okay. So you decide what to say. So thank you so much, Elizabeth, that was good. Um, well, we, we still have time, guys. Who would like to continue? Only raise your hand to participate. Anybody? JC is like only listening. Oh, come on, JC. Narciso. Oh, Narciso, Narciso. okay. Narciso, no, no, okay. 
Let us see so you've been chosen. Go ahead. Number one is companies that have the credit to the Guayua. Branches, branch, son sonate, it water, Guayua. Number two, Pan Lido. Uh, number two company, Pan Lido. Branches, uh, Apopa, San Salvador, Mexicanos. Hidwaters, Waters, Soyapango. Number three, companies ad hoc. Uh, branches, Sonsonate, Santa Ana, San Salvador, everywhere. Uh, Hill water, Soyapan. Okay, I know about ad hoc. Okay, I know about ad hoc. So <laughs> I was like listening to, okay, Narciso, you're not gonna lie to me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Ad hoc, they have many like, shops right uh, nationwide so thank you so much guys there are still some of you who haven't participated so please go ahead and uh, let's keep talking with this uh, very like easy activity i think so who would like to continue we have three more um, i mean i want to listen to at least maybe one or two more mm -hmm. groups or oh, narciso you choose the next one please uh... Rafael. Rafa, okay. Sounds good. ¿Qué se va a hacer en este teacher? Ah, you just need to mention the companies and also the, the um, branches and headquarters. Can you try? Can you do it? Rafa? Or did you share already? I don't remember. Ya lo hicimos con la compañera las tres de San Nicolás Formes. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So you, you think you are like chosen like two times. <laughs> no problem. So Narciso, choose another one, please. Narciso, maybe somebody else who would like to participate. Marlene, Marlene. Okay, Marlene. Marlene. Yeah, and Harrison, right? Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. The first is uh, Sigma Q and company and branches is Rotoflex y Cartonera is in El Salvador and headquarters in Soyapango and Swarovski branches La Libertad in San Salvador and headquarters in Guatemala. Only that. Okay, sounds perfectly by Marlene. Did you say the three of them? No. <laughs> yeah, I gave you the, the other is a, a, a Simán y um, Alegría. Okay, 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 got it. So, I, I have other one to share. Uh, okay, go ahead. Coca Cola, Coca Cola. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, branches, uh, San Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and headquarters is Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, so Coca-Cola is in Atlanta, Georgia. How do you know? What I know that is in Atlanta, Georgia is AT&T. AT&T, which is a cell phone company mm -hmm. in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, I didn't know about Coca-Cola, but thank you so much for sharing. That was really good. Okay, I wouldn't like anybody to, um, let's say, I would like you to share, like everybody, please. So if you haven't shared, please go ahead and, and share it, your ideas, or they will finish. Nobody else is missing. Yes, we finished. Okay. I think we have finished, right? So we are going to move on with the next activity, guys. And this is a before we move on, a friendly, a friendly reminder. Okay. We need to have our full name, like for example, uh, Juan Carlos. And then what is your last name, Juan Carlos? 
Peñat. Okay, uh, do you know how to change your name like in, in the platform in Zoom? So you can add your last name, Juan Carlos Peña. You're missing your last name right there. So please make sure to have your full name, guys. That's very important, okay? Or at least you have to have your last name, okay? So if you can do that, that'll be great. That, that would be amazing, okay? And what else? Let's see, I think it's fine. So, uh, well, we need to move on with the next activity, guys. You know, that was just, you know, a very quick uh, parenthesis here. So we have this matching activity, guys. I think you guys can see my screen. I think you can see it. We are going to match these, um, we have some vocabulary related to industry. And then we are going to check, you know, the answers on the left, I think. And then with the, with the vocabulary on the right, okay? So we have banks and then you check on what will be the best option, okay? If you think number one is a letter B or C, please start matching even though number one is already done, right? Number one, if you can see, is letter E. Number one, E, the finance industry, okay? So we have from number two to number 10 to match, okay? I'm gonna give you, I think, uh, three minutes for you to complete this. Is it clear what we're going to do? Elizabeth, is it clear? Rafa? Clear. Clear, okay, let's work on that and then we're That's going to clear. share. Perfect. <laughs> If you finish fast, please let me know. Uh, you can send a message that you finish. So I know when you finish, please. Marlene, that was really fast. Thank you, Norma. So Norma and Marlene finished already. Thank you. Who else? That's finished. That finished. Okay, thank you so much. Rafa, did you finish? Not so, finished. Yes. Not yet. yet. Still thinking. <laughs> okay, no problem. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Jose, Ruben, Flores. Thank you for confirming. One more minute, I think it'll be great. Okay, so let's start sharing, okay? Number one, it's already done, right? We already said that number one is letter E. How about number two? Let's see who was the first one who finished. Norma, what about number uh, two? Which letter did you um, choose? It's H, the beverage industry. Can you read it, please? 
Fab three mm -hmm. is the letter H, mm -hmm. the beverage industry. Okay, the beverage industry. Okay, do you guys agree with that? Let's see, agree or disagree? Yes, if you agree, please use your um, reactions. Agree? This one? Mm -hmm. Yes, Marlene agrees. And the other ones? Linda agrees. Okay, Daniel agrees. Okay, so we have four people. And the other ones? Disagree. <laughs> okay, JC, agree or disagree? Marvin? Marvin, agree, disagree? Hello, hello. Do you agree with that? That soft drinks the, is the beverage industry? Uh, the three must have preguntando. No, no, number two, number two, soft drinks. Uh, number two is uh, the beverage industry. Okay, so you agree with that? That is the beverage industry. Okay, good. What about number, that'll be, let's see, number three, guided tours. What do you have? Let me see who was the next one. Marlene, what do you have for number three? It's uh, a, the tourist industry. Okay. Um, it's the tourism, the tourism industry, okay? Whenever you have, guys, whenever you have this type of, um, this type of spelling, let me send you an example, like the one you just said, to reason, to reason, like, uh, do you pronounce the letter M as, in, as an individual sound, like to reason? Uh, this is another one, like, to reason, to reason like journalism, um, positivism, what pessimism, you know, all of those endings, you have to pronounce the letter M as individual sounds, so to reason, okay? So do you agree or disagree with that? Agree or disagree? Show me your um, reactions, please. Daniel agrees, Ruben agrees, and the other ones, yes? Okay, I think like the majority agrees on that. Yes, that's correct. Let's move on. What about number four? What do we have? Let's see, any volunteer? Open your mic, please. Number four. Okay. Okay. Read and then tell me the best option. Mm -hmm. and who wants to do it? Okay. So read the vocabulary and read the best choice, please. So that'll be. Uh -huh. Cardboard. 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 Cardboard boxes and then the packaging. Pack, pack, packaging. The packaging industry. Okay. Yes, that would be correct. That's correct. The packaging industry. Yes. What about number five? Let's see. Um Linda. Number five. Number five, uh, buildings, and the letter yeah, B, the letter construction B. industry. Okay, I can see it, like some of you saying the same thing. Yes, that would be the construction industry. Yes, that's correct. What about number, let's see number, that's going to be number six, right? Let's see, Ruben, what do you, what do you have, Ruben? Uh, okay, uh, mobile phone. Mm -hmm. uh, mobile phone. Uh, mobile phone. Mm -hmm. uh, letter B. The telecommunication industry. The telecommunications industry, yes. Okay, mobile phones. Yes, mobile phones. Great. Mobile phone. Um, mobile I hear people phone. saying mobile, but it's actually mobile phone. Yes. Okay, so next one, number seven. Let's see, Ray, what do you have for number seven? Number seven? Number seven, medicine. Okay, what is it? Letter G. Okay, what is it? Pharmaceutical industry. 
industry. Okay, great. That will be the correct answer. And then number eight, what do you have? Let's see who hasn't participated. Um, Mar Maria Julia, what do you have for number um, number eight? Number eight. Uh, letter F. Okay. What? L letter, I'm sorry. F. F. Can you read it? The automotive industry. Okay, so that will, that will be. Uh, first one is car components, right? Car components. And then we have the automotive um, industry. Yes, Auto, automotive industry. Yes, that would be correct. Auto, automotive, automotive industry. Yes. Okay, and then we have hair salon services. Let's see, Xiomara, what do you have for that? Hair salon services, what do you have for that? Xiomara? Um... A, letter A, the beautiful and personal care industry. Yeah, beauty and personal care, good. And the last oh, one, clothes, oh. what is it? Mm -hmm. Clothes. Letter A. Letter A. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay, that's it. The textile, the textile e. industry. H. Letter C, exactly. C as in cat. Yes, the textile industry. That is correct. Okay, I think we've finished. We have finished, guys. Thank you so much for helping me out with this activity. Okay, and then um, we need to move on because uh, time really flies and we have this next activity. And we are going to work this time individually, okay? And well, we have an example of what we're going to do next. We have, um, well, the instructions. Let's see, Christina, can you do me a favor? Can you read the instructions right here, please? Only read the instructions, what we're gonna do, please. Go ahead. Uh, the six, the number six. Yeah, read the instructions, only read. Write a... Um, refresh and light. Re yeah, read the instructions. Read these instructions here, please. Read, mm -hmm. only read. Write... Write, write a sentence to describe the experience and the industrial classification on the business below. Share your sentence with Panther partner okay so write a sentence to describe the expertise the expertise what we have here guys we have one example of what we are going to do we have the first one which is refresh and live okay so this is the example at refresh and live we uh, distribute soft drinks we are in the beverage industry so two things, we are going to mention the class, the industrial classification, okay? And also the expertise, as we can see here, uh, since it's refresh and live, we have um, soft drinks and then we have the beverage industry. So I'm gonna give you some time for you to think about what you can say, okay? What you can say here um, with, the, with the following options. Fix and care, enjoy and travel, business bank, and this, the sun resort. What comes to your mind? And please start writing your ideas. I'm going to give you, I think, five minutes. It's more than okay for you to complete this activity. Right, please try to follow the example and then think of what ideas would best describe each of them. If you have questions, please just let me know. Podemos seguir el mismo uh, formato. At, fix and care. We, hacemos esto. And we are in the which um, industry.
when you finish, please let me know. Let's take two more minutes to finish. Or if you finish, please let me know. Don't forget, please.
Thank you so much, Daniel. Daniel finished, guys. First one who finished. Okay. You finished? Let me know, please. Hmm. Did you say you finished too, Narciso? You finished? Not the chip. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Marlene, did you finish? Not yet. You're thinking. Esta parte es, es your ideas, right? I used to have to make a ingeniar, ¿verdad? crear, diseñar. Los ingenieros son, son los, son por profesión los que ingenian. Entonces, vamos a ver qué tan ingenieros. Que ideas tienen okay, with, for these companies. Okay. So let's take uh, two more minutes and then we're going to start because time goes like this, goes really fast and we don't have much time. So let's take two more minutes and then we start. Okay, one more minute, please.
Okay, I think it's more than more than enough. We're gonna start with the sharing these um, ideas, guys. So this is basically you describing, right? Whatever you wanna say, it's okay. Whatever you have written down, it's fine. Just go ahead and share it. Remember, this is your idea. There's no right or wrong answers, okay? Just simply go ahead and share. Uh, we are going to work, um, you know, as a whole class because time really flies. So who would like to start sharing, okay, um, what you wrote? Maybe, Daniel, would you like to start? Because you were the first one who finished. So please do us the honor. First one, what did you write on Fix and Care? Okay. Uh, at Fix and Care, we require your clothes. We are in the, in the textile industry. I like it. I like it. We repair your, your clothes. We fix your clothes. Like uh, there's a company, right, Daniel, that is called, uh, I think it's uh, Fit and Fix or something like that. By the way, it's very expensive. Have you guys uh, taken anything to, the, to this one? Fit and Fix, I think it is. Uh, have you heard about this one? No, I think you have, right? So yeah, Daniel, that will be that will be the best one. That will be the best one. The textile uh, industry. Good. Number two, or maybe number one, a different idea. Who has a different idea so for number one? Fixing care. What do you have, Narciso? Number. Same one. That's the same one. Fix and care. What do you have? Fix and care. Uh, at Fix and Care, we specialize in talking and talking care of your pet. Okay, and what about the industry, Narciso? I like that one. I'm very curious. What What is the industry? Mm, no, thank you. No, okay. No. Okay, nice. I like it. I like it. Because you are visualizing uh, caring, right? Caring your pets, caring, like taking care of your pets. Okay. Okay. I would say it's fine. I liked your idea. It, it's also part of this. Okay. Uh, anybody else, a different idea for the same fix and care? Anybody else who wants to participate? Thank you, Ray. The same one, please. Fix and care. Go ahead. Fix and care. We distributing a hair salon service. We are at the, the beauty and personal care industry. Okay. You know what? That makes a lot of sense, too. Yeah. So I like it. Yes, you see, we have three different ideas and the three are okay, three are correct. So anybody else who would like to mention? One more idea? One more, okay. So let's move on because uh, time is our enemy. So let's see, Harrison, what do you have for the next one? Enjoy and travel. Enjoy and travel, enjoy and travel with the green tours to the any of the various place who are in the tourist industries. First industry, yes. Okay, yeah, makes sense. I want to hear more ideas. Christina, what do you have for enjoying travel? Enjoy and travel. We make you travel be relaxed. We are the Angel industry. Okay, we are in the, um, which industry did you say? What? Which industry did you say? <laughs> Como yeah. me dice Cristina. Le vamos, vamos a aprender una manera de, 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 de pedir así, así como, excuse me. O sea, no es para mí, no es por mí, es para que usted lo diga. Eh, si no, no escucho algo, diga, excuse me. I'm sorry. What did you say? Serían unas poselas, son las mejores opciones. I'm sorry. What did you say? Can you say that again? <laughs> Suena bien, ¿verdad? Si me dice what, 
a mí, a mí yo acostumbrado a que me respondan así siempre, pero para otras personas, así como, I'm sorry, what did you say? Can you say that again? Suena bien, ¿ya, Cristina? ¿Makes sense? ¿Makes sense? Ok. Um, ok, good. Le decía, la industry, ¿cuál usted uh, eligió? Me decía, perdón. What was the industry you, you choose for this? I didn't hear the industry. Maybe I was not paying attention. <laughs> so no problem, Christina. Okay, next one. What about, um, uh, in, we have business bank. Let's see, Norma, what do you have for business bank? Uh, business bank, we are the financing industry. Okay, we are at uh, the finance industry. Yes, and what about the expertise? Recordemos que la expertise es como la, lo que, la esencia, el ser de la empresa, like el, esa habilidad que tienen, like what makes them, you know, unique. So what did you write for the expertise? Hmm. Uh, financial projects, for example. Okay, financial projects, okay. Okay, we give you loans. <laughs> we are the financier. Okay, <laughs> okay, we are the financier. Someone look at them, they damos. We get you indebted. <laughs> Someone look at the comemos, the comemos todo tu piso. We <laughs> We take, we take care of your money. We take care of your money. If you don't pay, te quitamos todo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we are at the finance industry. Good. Um, let's listen to the last one. La última, the Sun Resort. Veamos. Tears, come on, let's volunteers. Participe, no, no hay problema. Sí. Bueno, que todas las ideas también mencionamos, ¿verdad? Let's see. Ah, María, sí, um, go. No, no, sí, es correcto. En the Sun Resort, can you have the best vacation? The place ideal is in the hotel industry. Ok, nice. I want to hear one more. One, one more. Thank you so much. That was good. One more, please. One more, come on, one more. Let's see. JC, what do you have for this one? After some research, you will be relaxed. We are in the tourism industry. Okay, you will be relaxed. And, and you see, what do you have? Teacher, we are on the shore and on, on vacation. On a vacation and we are the tourism industry. Okay, we are at the tourism industry. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Kai. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Now, we, we don't have time for this coming activity, but I want you to start working individually. And then tomorrow we are going to work in teams or maybe in pairs for you to complete this activity, which is a conversation about your companies. Let's see. Um, in this conversation, you guys are going to describe the company's expertise, like your company, what, what you do, and think about your industrial classification, like, and your location, like headquarters and branches, and where it operates, okay? So, um, since I think you don't, maybe you have uh, colleagues in this class, that would be easier. Así que um, si tiene algún colega o compañero de trabajo 
lo hacen en pair. Si no, vamos a tener que trabajar individual, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer un monólogo, como un monólogo, ustedes mismos, ¿ok? Se van a inventar la conversación con, como con un compañero, pero usted mismo la va a tener que leer. Sugar double role. Pero si son compañeros de trabajo, hay dos o tres, se unen y crean una sola conversación, ¿ok? Eso va a ser para la next class. No sé si tenemos aquí compañeros. Creo que sí hay compañeros de trabajo, ¿verdad? No. No, Daniel, no, ¿verdad? Marlene, no. Mi no, que, mi Rey, no. No, mi tampoco. No. Mi no. No, mi no. Somos compañeros. Solo Minion. Solo Minion. Oh. Solo Minion. Oh, ten, Ay, les... no Creo que Linda, sí, ve Linda y Norma. Yes. Yes, te okay. Norma, sí. Okay. We are co-workers. We are co-workers. Ok, ustedes lo van a crear juntas. Los demás, un monólogo. Vamos a hacer como... Lo, se van monólogo. a hacer... Un, exacto. ¿Qué you, monólogo? You guys create no. this conversation. Y mañana para la hora de monólogo? <laughs> you guys do this. Ok, Daniel está con todo. Ok, Daniel, tomorrow. Ok, think about these ideas. And then tomorrow you share with me. And with the class, of course, you know, what you have written, lo que usted ha escrito. Okay, um, well, guys, we're going to end up the class right here. I'm going to check the attendance, and then we finish it. Uh, como recordatorio, por favor, este, asegúrese de ir completando todo, ¿verdad? Porque algunos todavía me estaban pendientes en algunas actividades el día viernes que revisé la plataforma. Así que, por favor, trate de ir haciéndolo el día a día para no llegar a última hora. Y como observación, el nombre, ¿verdad? Guys, ahí pongamos el apellido. Porque recordemos que no es de repente, pues, tenemos auditoría y aparece alguien sin el, sin el apellido, pues nos pueden este, llamar la atención. Y lo otro es que la cámara, la cámara, ¿verdad? Importantísimo la cámara. Si no funciona, está bien que lo reporte, para que así también nosotros reportemos. Reportemos, ¿verdad? Reportemos a... Uh, inmediatamente a nuestros um, supervisors or whoever is in charge of this. Okay, uh, let's finish this class today by checking the attendance. Ana Elizabeth. Present. Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you, David. Not here. Eric Arnoldo. No. Uh, Gabriela, Gerson, present. Okay, uh, thank you. Gerson is here, Gabriela. Okay, and then let's see, Jesus not here. Okay, and then Ruben. Robert, okay. Jay-Z. Present. Thank you so much. <laughs> Linda. Present. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Present. Marvin. Present, teacher. Thank you, Norma. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafa. Present, teacher. Ray. Present, teacher. Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, Adrián, Georgina, Jairo, and Jose. Well, guys, it's been a nice experience with you guys today. Have a nice rest of the day. Try to sleep and have a nice night. Once again, good night and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 <laughs>
Mire, le agradezco que está conectada. Eso no es nada grato. Y pues me hubiese dicho. Siempre avise, diga. Porque así tratamos de no... ¿Cómo? Como dicen que no puedo tener unos permisos, así que como podía, me, pu me pude conectar. No, está bien. No, lo que podría hacer es, este, ¿cómo se llama? Avisarme para yo estar pendiente si queda con la cámara apagada todo el tiempo. Eso le ayuda un poco. Porque ya o no, pues la cámara está encendida. Y este... Así que le iba, le iba a comentar esto, no sé si eso no es inapropiado, la verdad yo quise hacerlo para ayudarles a todos, nunca fue mi mala intención cuando le dije lo de what, porque para responder le voy, le voy a mandar las expresiones, ya aprovechando que la tengo aquí, vaya una es excuse me, excuse me, la otra es um, what did you say, what did you say. Um, can you say that again? O podemos decir, o simplemente, sorry. Cuánto una de vos. Ajá. Porque cuando responde what de un solo, es el típico, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿Qué? <ríe> Entonces, mm -hmm. así que apúntese esas y pues esas puedo utilizar. Um, o oh, say, say that again. Entonces, he escuchado que... En unas conversaciones solo es say that again. Say that again. Sí, es que como igual ahora tuve problemas con el internet porque no tengo wifi. Por la tormenta se, se fue el internet. Me quedé sí. con el, los datos de mi teléfono y se me acabaron. Entonces después me tuve que conectar con el teléfono de mi mami. Ah, sí, pues de hecho sí ha estado bastante inestable. Yo de hecho aquí donde soy ahorita, estoy en la casa de mis papás. Y sí, ha estado bien, estable. De hecho, justamente ayer todo el, no, hubo, no hubo ni internet, nada se cayó. Entonces dije yo, era sido el lunes. Así que, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna? Pues ahorita con lo, con lo de la, ah, sí, con, ¿cómo era en sí? Lo del numeral número 6, que yo ahí no entendí, yo me quedé en la luna, pero hice lo que pude, lo que más o menos entendí. Permítanme. Numeral número 6, ahorita lo revisamos. Ahorita mismo revisamos. Igual como hay palabras que todavía no las entiendo, me cuesta cuando a veces me preguntan algo. Es el día dos, ¿cuáles son, Cristina? Numeral, esta es el número 6, aquí ahorita. Ah, uh -huh. es que aquí es, se deja su creatividad, aquí no hay nada, es, aquí todas las preguntas son buenas, las respuestas son buenas. Vale, uh -huh. Si se fija alguien, vale, Daniel comenzó diciendo de algo de, de las clothes, ¿verdad? Que reparamos, arreglamos tu ropa. Luego Narciso uh -huh. dijo de mascotas y luego este, Rey habló de los, quiero ver, de, la, de los cosméticos, de belleza, entonces la, la idea era que usted, le voy a hacer uno, vaya, digamos a este, le dije que si era en el mismo ejemplo, vaya la estructura, at, por ejemplo at fix en care en care, aquí we, nosotros ¿qué hacemos? aquí va la parte de la expertise, ¿qué hace a fix en care? que es la empresa we vamos a, we take care of your Health, no sé, solo se me acaba de ocurrir esto. Health, sí, eh, cuidamos de tu salud. Ajá. O si no, y luego, y luego, we are, we are in the, ¿en qué industria está? Si es de la salud, le ponemos en qué industria está, ¿verdad? Podría ser que sea in the pharmaceutical industry. O mm -hmm. no sé, ese es un ejemplo, digamos que... Quizás Fixing Care podría ser lo que dijo, me gustó mucho lo que dijo Daniel, porque Fixing Care como fix es reparar, ¿verdad? Podría ser de, de ropa, podría ser incluso de carros. Mire, uh, we, um, Fixing Care, we repair your car issues, el problema de carros. Y estamos en qué parte, en the automotive industry. Entonces, esa era como de poner... Eh, ¿Qué hace la, la empresa y en qué oh. industria se caracteriza? Así, ah, eso es lo que hemos ido haciendo. 
Ajá, yo ahí me quedé en la luna, como en ese ratito se me fue, se me acabó el internet de, la, de los, los datos que tenía en el teléfono. Ajá. Entonces ahí yo cuando regresé ya ni, ni, ni sabía que iba a estar. Ya como no hay sé. palabras que todavía no las entiendo. Sí, pero es parte de Cristina, la verdad, este, yo entiendo el, el manual, viene a veces un poco complejo, trae, trae palabras técnicas, pero sí, sí, cuando terminen, yo estaba pensando hace un par de días de que veo que los cargan bastante de vocabulario, y eso es muy bueno. Sí. Usted, cómprese un librito aparte, mire, yo siempre ando mi agenda, porque ahí si no, me pierdo, ¿va? entonces es, uh -huh. y así, vaya anotando ahí, mire, vocabulario, todos los días hago una listita de vocabulario, y vaya aprendiéndola, no es lo mismo como estar el montón aquí, que usted ir seleccionando, vocabulario tal y va, cuando usted va para su trabajo, no sé si usa transporte público o, o conduce, pero usted va ahí, ¿verdad? De repente cualquier de, tiempo libre, revise, escriba, reescriba eh, de, eh, las definiciones también y ese, ayúdese con alguna, un dibujito, todo ese detallito que van agregando para que se recuerde siempre va a ser bienvenido para su, para su memoria y eso le ayuda bastante. Yo lo hacía. Este, de hecho, la manera que me aprendía los verbos, les conté la vez pasada, que en mi habitación pegaba así carteles, de repente ya un verbo ahí como que era, es, en realidad es parte de, yo les recomiendo eso, porque entiendo la parte del vocabulario que a veces es, se olvida, pero entre más lo nos familiarizamos y lo utilizamos, eh, se aprende, se aprende, y sí. espero pues descanse mucho canse, trate de tomar algo porque mire, sin salud pues no, ay no, yo sé lo que es eso de hecho la, la semana el, el, la, el módulo pasado antes, el primero eh, yo me enfermé y estuve ingresada en el hospital una semana y desde allá me conectaba desde estuvo, allá me conectaba estuvo conmigo el módulo pasado no, en el, en el primer módulo fue pues. Ah, sí es cierto, ¿verdad? Ajá, ah, entonces sí. yo le dije al teacher que no podía estar con la cámara encendida, pero que sí iba a poner atención a lo que decía. Mire, qué, qué esfuerzo y qué bueno que ha, ha superado esa parte. Sí, es que ya me acordé, había una Cristina que estaba en el módulo 2 conmigo, y, eh, pero a ver qué le pasó. Sí, sí. sí entonces... Gracias a Dios el teacher me comprendió y, y me dejó, aunque sea, poner atención así. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Vaya. Bueno, qué bueno. Entonces, este, que ya está mejor y pues hay que seguir echando ganas. Acuérdense que el esfuerzo vale la pena. Y pues, sí, sí. Y, y algo se va aprendiendo y de repente cuando usted se va a dar cuenta va a hablar bien chivo. Así, Ojalá. Así. No, mire, yo le, le, le garantizo eso porque yo lo he visto. Yo he visto, eh, yo empecé a trabajar cuando tenía 19 años, tengo 31 y he visto, y, y he visto un montón de cipotes y jóvenes y adultos que de repente los conocían, hablaban ¿no? y de repente me los encuentro hablando bien, chivo, oh, qué chivo. Y así como está usted, entonces creo que yo pasé también en esa etapa, no es que lo sepamos al 100, ¿verdad? Porque sería pues mentira. Pero la idea de manejar un léxico ya, hablar una conversación en todos los niveles y no tener ese miedo, eso es bonito. Yo sé que lo va a lograr. Así que su esfuerzo, su sacrificio no va a quedar así en vano. Así que echarle ganas. Sí, bueno, cuando veo, escucho las, las canciones en inglés, a veces el vocabulario en inglés, los verbos una vez los hice así en unos papelitos para andarlos repasando y, y así va. Y, y una cosa que le quería decir es que fíjese que en el módulo 1 me mandaron el diploma y mi nombre me lo han escrito mal. Ah, hay que reportarlo. Este, yo le puedo reportar eso. A, a, si gusta, escríbame al, al, al chat, así al WhatsApp, y yo lo voy a reportar con mi jefa. A ver, para que se lo dé. Su nombre es el que dice Armando, ¿verdad? Armando, sí, Armando. Ah, ah. ah va. Ah, ah, pues ahí le voy a mandar mi nombre. Escríbame. Para que... Y si es posible, mándeme una foto para que yo le dé reenviar y mándeme el nombre correcto para que así lo solicitemos y ellos deben de hacer las gestiones. Ah, vaya. Bueno, Está pues, bien, un gusto, Cristina. Espero que se sienta mejor y pues si Dios permite, nos vemos mañana. Cuídese. Buenas bye, bye. noches. Buenas noches. Good night.